things are going very, very well here at Norton and Stockton Ancients. Uh, and as a result of that, we've, we've reached that time of season where people are trying to poach all of our players. Yes guys, welcome to episode 6 of Grassroots to Giants, back with Norton Stockton Ancients. Uh, as I alluded to in the intro there, we're starting to have some bids coming for our players. We've, we've actually lost one, we've lost Thomas Cole, which is very, very disappointing. He's actually gone to AFC Blackpool, who I believe are a division above us. Um, but he was a fantastic player for us, 30 games, 21 goals, 12 assists, a 7.54 average rating. Um, he's gone, That's it's very, very disappointing. As you saw there, we have got bids in for Lucas Gambling, Matt Jelves, Seth Meeson as well. Sonny Best has had bids come in, he's already turned them down, I believe, uh, and decided to stay here. Elliot Day has done the same. Just after Elliot Day did that, though, he came to me and said he doesn't think he's good enough to get any first-team football here and he'd like to leave. Well, why didn't you leave then, mate? You know? A um, couple of games since you were last with us, a 2-0 win against Durham City. We finally kept a clean sheet. Uh, we did actually lose Thomas Cole to injury in that game. As you can see, he's actually injured at the minute. Uh, and he's actually out for um, around about six weeks, I think it was. Injured being tackled. Did it, yeah, four to six weeks. Uh, so we were without him anyway. Uh, I believe we also picked up another injury in this game to... Sonny Best, was it this game? It might not have been this game. Anyway, next game was a 4-1 win uh, against Wrighton and Crow Cook Albion. Uh, very, very comfortable. Does leave us, although Carlisle City have got three games in hand over us. We are currently 18 points clear at the top. Two of the top scorers in the league. Of course, Luke Nelson scored a lot of them before he came to us. Thomas Cole has now left us. Jack Egan, player of the match, six there. Obviously, he's missing long term. Seth Meeson with the most assists in the league. I'm hoping that we can keep hold of him. Uh, today's opponents though, Hanworth Villa uh, in the FA Vars. We are actually billed as the favourites for this game, despite them being a, a couple of divisions higher than us. Uh, they're also third in the league. We are actually billed as the favourites. Uh, so today's starting lineup is going to be a little bit unfamiliar to to uh, to some of you with with obviously losing Thomas Cole which is very disappointing Sonny Best is still injured Jack Egan obviously injured as well uh, so a back four is going to be we're going to bring Chris Salmon back in he's he's suspended for the last couple of games uh, it's going to be Salmon Coin Gambling and McNabb nothing really changed there in midfield we've got Farrington we are going to go with Reed and Meeson uh, we've had to push Shabs Mohammed into this attacking midfielder role. And we're going to go with Nelson and Soper up front. So a few changes there. Hoping hoping to keep hold of the, uh, especially Seth Meeson. Seth Meeson's been absolutely outstanding for us all season long. Uh, it's, it's one of the things at this level though, with your players not being on contracts. Uh, people can just come in as they please and take your players from, from you. Uh, if, if it's a club with a higher reputation, the players... Nine times out of ten, they do go. Uh, obviously, contract-wise as well, they're only getting 25 quid to play for us per match. I think everybody's on 25 pound appearance fee, uh, which isn't a lot of money for, for your Saturday, you know. Uh, McNabb advancing down the left-hand side, though, would be a phenomenal result if we could get through to the next round of the cup. Uh, Mason. Thunders ahead against the crossbar there and the defender just hoofs out for the corner. We've got that building on stilts here at Hanworth. Uh, Soper with the corner, it's a poor one, it's headed away by Merson. Uh, we're still on the attack though. It's Reed comes outside to Ross McNabb, back inside to Alex Reed. Looks forward to Nelson, Soper and the, the effort there by Reed hit the crossbar. It looked like the keeper saved it to me but apparently it's hit the crossbar. Uh, and we've started the game very, very well. Uh, again, attacking down the wings, but it's a comfortable header away. And now it's Julien attack, uh, advancing forward for Hanworth Villa. It's cut out by McNabb, though. No. Now it's Shabs Mohammed to Meeson. Nelson comes back to Mohammed. Mohammed with the long-range effort. 
uh, into poor effort really. He had Mason advancing forward with the run there. I think that might have been a little bit more of a uh, a better option for him. We are still in the ascendancy though. Uh, Hanworth Villa haven't really been out of their own half. It's uh, it's Farrington inside to Reed, Mohamed, Meeson. Great through ball to Sopa and Sopa. It's a good save there by Jones. Sopa hasn't scored for a little while for us now. Of course, he's not really played for a little while, to be fair. He's coming through injuries and obviously losing Thomas Cole, which is a, it's, it's a disappointment to lose Thomas Cole. Uh, Hamworth Villa with their first highlight of the game have taken the lead uh, with the effort from, from win there from outside the area. It's just typical, isn't it? We, we have all the highlights. Um, it's a poor clearance by McNabb. He might have just been better just to let that go. Uh, but Win with a first-time effort into the bottom corner. It's actually a good effort by, by Win there. Uh, but that is their first shot. It's their first highlight. It's their first shot. And we find ourselves behind in this game. Defensively, we're still not very good, unfortunately. Into the half-time break then. 1-0 um, down. We've actually brought two supporters to this game. It's me, my man, me dad this time. My dad's come as well. Uh, they're going to tell them that I'm not very happy and I'm also going to try and give them a little bit of encouragement. We, this, this cup run has been fantastic for us so far. Financially it's, it's helped us a little bit. We could be a lot further in debt without this cup run. We are the favourites so it would be disappointing to lose. Uh, can we get ourselves back in now though with McNabb? He, he checks back. He comes inside to Alex Reid. It's Mohamed Farrington. Reed passing the ball around nicely out the back now. Gambling coin. Can we work the ball from side to side? We can. It's now Salmon four to Meeson. Meeson needs Salmon to run on past him. He hasn't. Uh, it's come back instead to coin. Coin over the top towards Nelson. And Nelson there. Luca Nelson with his 31st goal of the season. Uh, of course, not all of them for us. Uh, we did sign him a few weeks ago from Bedlington Terriers. Uh, but it's it's a good finish there to. It's a great ball over the top by Coyne uh, and Neeson, sorry, Nelson just toe pokes it past the goalkeeper there uh, and we are now back into the game just after half time. Uh, can we capitalise on that momentum swinging our way a little bit, hopefully? Uh, Gambling wins the header, but now it's Parker and Humphrey. Let's not get any silly set, uh, sending offs for our, our wing backs. Salmon does manage to cut this one out though. Uh, it's Coyne again, Farrington. Mohamed goes long over the top towards Sopa. Sopa collects it beautifully on his chest. He's checked back onto his right foot. It's a good save again by Jones. And the defender prevents the corner uh, for Hanworth. Fairly even game in terms of shots if you have a look at it. XG wise though we are miles ahead. Uh, and we are building an attack again with Mohamed. It's now Meeson. Meeson from outside the area. It's a great save again by Jones. Jones is keeping Hamworth Villa in this game as it stands. We do have the corner though to be taken by Soper. Uh, it's a poor corner again. We've, we, our two corner takers. We've lost one and one's injured. Now Hamworth Villa with Humphrey. Up the line towards Parker. Chilton. Humphrey again. Hamworth building an attack down this left-hand side. Uh, let's see if we can pinch the ball off. We, we don't want to concede another goal. It's inside to Merson. Now win the goal scorer. Out to the right towards Harley. Comes back to Julien. Julien is going to get the ball into the box here. He does. It's towards Merson, but it's headed away. Excellently there. And now can we counter with Sopa? Alex Reed. We've, we've took too long. We've let them get back into position. Uh, Mohamed, four to Sopa. It's Nelson through on goal. Nelson, it's another great save by Jones. And we've missed another one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Nelson really should be scoring that. I would make some changes, but we don't really have anybody. We're, we're a little bit threadbare in terms of the squad. I need to really dip into the free transfer market and see if I can bring anybody in. Uh, replacement Thomas Cole would be excellent. Obviously, Jack Egan as well. We've lost long term through injury. Shabs Mohammed's not really ideally suited to that shadow striker role. Could do with dropping him back into the midfield. 
Uh, 86th minute though, Julian skipped past his man. It's a great ball into the box. It's an absolutely fantastic challenge there by Lucas Gamblin, I believe it was, uh, to, to save us. And it goes straight to penalties. It does go straight to penalties. Having a look here, we're not very good at penalties. We're not very good. We're just going to let them decide amongst themselves. Uh, and let's get into the penalty shootout for the next round of the cup. It's going to be Salmon to take the first penalty. Ah, he just calmly rolls it down the middle. Wait for the keeper to move and then just... Almost like a Paneka, really. Uh, Merson for Hanworth and he puts it right in the bottom corner. Great penalty there by Merson. It's now going to be Farrington stepping up for Norton. And Farrington again goes down the middle. The keeper almost got to this one. Uh, win the goal scorer for Hanworth Villa. Stepping up for the second penalty for Hanworth. We need Dixon to pull off a save. He, he's, he's gone the wrong way. He's gone the wrong way. That's not a save really, is it? Uh, Alex Reid, the man who's been demanding more first team football from me. Uh, he scored again. It's, <laughs> they're not very good penalties. They're not very good penalties, really, are they? Uh, it's going to be Reynolds, though, for Hamworth Villa for the third penalty. And, and again, another penalty down the middle. Nelson now, the uh, league's leading goal scorer. And he's put his right in the bottom corner. Keeper did go the right way. It's nail biting stuff, this. It's going to be Parker for Hamworth Villa now. For their fourth penalty, can Dixon pull off a save? He can't. That's what a fantastic penalty that is. Right in the top corner from Jay Parker. Shabs Mohammed. Shabs Mohammed with the fifth penalty for Norton. Uh, and it's a poor one. And the keeper saved it. We need Dixon now to pull off this save from Walker. Otherwise, that is the end of our journey in the FA Vars for this season those couple of players that we're missing is, is really affected us and he's hit the post walker gives us a lifeline late drama in the penalty shootout here in hanworth now can coin put us back in front he can and we somehow we're still in this all walker had to do was slot this penalty away and we were out of the cup it's going to be julien to take Hamworth Villa's sixth penalty. Can Dixon actually pull off a save? He can't, he can't. Uh, apologies if there's a little bit of noise in the background at the minute. Uh, the bin men are here. Uh, they're just outside the front of my house. Meeson tucks away his penalty. Great penalty. Really, really like to keep hold of Seth Meeson. He's been one of our stars of the season. Uh, we've now got Humphrey stepping up for Hamworth Villa. Really needs Dixon to pull off this save. And he does. Dixon pulls off the save. Norton and Stockton Ancients go through on penalties into the next round of the Cup. Financially, that's going to be pretty big for us. We've got 2k for around about 2k for winning in the last round. Of course, we the, we were supposed to be out of this competition a long, long time ago, according to the board. Uh, but we've, we've gone through on penalties. And two and £2.25,000 brings our debt down to around about £14,000. Uh, we're into the sixth round. I don't know if it's the quarterfinals for the next round. Let's Let's have a quick look. Uh, what is the next round? It is the quarterfinals and the draw is tomorrow. So we're going to quickly advance forward to that draw. We'll see when the game is and then we'll decide what we're going to do for the second half of this episode. Have we got the draw yet? Have we got the draw? Uh, this is it was an unbelievable cup run for us. Um, let's keep advancing forward quickly. Here's the draw. Sonny Best resumes full training. Again, oh, I've pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. I was supposed to press the automatic. We've been drawn away from home against Westfields, who play in the Hellenic 
League Premier Division. Again, divisions above us. They are currently sat in fourth place in the league. Uh, it's going to be a, a difficult game. I believe we are the lowest ranked team left in the competition. Uh, that game is going to be the second game of the episode, though. I originally planned to do Talor Town, uh, but we'll do the FA Vars quarterfinal. We'll save Talor for another episode. Uh, we'll be back in a minute, though, for that uh, for that game against Westfield. All right, guys, let's get into the second half of the episode. Uh, we'll give you a quick update of what's gone on since you were last with us. Of course, the the game against Hanworth Villa. We've had three league games. A nice two 0 win over Washington at home. Uh, Michael Skates, who is a new player we've brought in. I'll go over him in a moment um, with a double. We then disappointingly had a 2-2 draw with Easington Colliery. We were 2 up in this game uh, and we threw it away. Uh, then most recently we've absolutely thumped Bolden Community 7-0. Uh, Skates again on the score sheet. Keith Wright with four goals, who again is another new player we've brought in. With all these bids coming in for our players, I sort of panicked a little bit and I just went... Uh, I went and signed a few players. Um, I've signed quite a few. A few of them are joining when they turn 18. Uh, but we have brought in Michael Skates. Uh, Michael Skates as the shadow striker. 17-year-old Northern Ireland youngster. He's not too bad. Keith Wright, uh, another one from Northern Ireland. As the advanced forward, um, he's very, very good for a 17-year-old. Potential five stars, which is great. Daniel Waters is another striker, a poacher. Uh, again, good current ability, good potential, the young Welsh Welshman there. Kyle Murray is a left fullback. He's, he's, he's very similar to McNabb. Uh, they're better in different areas, uh, but he's been getting the nod lately. Tom Devine is actually a winger, uh, more suited to the left side, but we're actually training to play as a centre attack and mid on defence. If we quickly have a look at, on attack, sorry, quickly have a look at his attributes, for a centre attack in mid. Uh, I think he could be very, very good in that position. Uh, and finally, we brought in Dahomey Raymond, who is actually a real player, 21 years old, uh, box to box midfielder for us, slash central attack in mid. Again, more about depth. Uh, in terms of today's game, though, uh, it is the FA Vars quarter final against Westfields. Westfields are predicted to be favourites. Uh, it's a back line, which is very, very familiar. Murray, we have brought in there. Farrington, Mohamed and Reid in the centre of midfielder. We're, we're going to go with Skates, um, who's done very well since he came in for us. Wright, who's played that one game, got four goals, so he's keeping his place up front. And then we're playing with Sonny Best uh, alongside him. These, these boys are still lacking a little bit of match fitness. It's not long since they joined us. A um, couple of regens, you, you, you look through the, uh, the youth international teams uh, you do get a few regens who regen without a club and a lot of them end up in the international teams uh, and it's a good source of players solo down in the leagues uh, anyway looking to progress to the semi-final which would be uh, absolutely fantastic achievement for Norton and Stockton Ancients things are going very very well in the league uh, we are currently 12 points clear I believe we've got seven games left uh, Carlisle do still have a game in hand over us though uh, which we're a little bit wary of uh, but we're almost there we're almost up in our first season um, Edwards with a the tackle there on right clears it long but it's won by Gamblin now it's Reed Sonny Best right who puts it just wide of the post a little bit disappointing there by Wright, given his goal scoring form in the last game four goals and one assist to his name this has changed back to the Northern League Division 2. I could have sworn I just put that on the FA Vars. Staveley Miners Welfare have gone 1 up against Glebe. Uh, Hanley Town also 1 up against Atherstone Town. Fairly even game here so far. We're slightly ahead in terms of XG. Uh, it's Murray with the ball forward to Sonny Best. Can Sonny Best score? He can't. He's put it wide of the post. That's, uh, that's twice now. Both strikers uh, are now... Westfields could punish us here just before half time, uh, but the, fortunately, the he, fortunately for us, the head has gone just over the bar. Uh, we are in at half time. It's uh, been quite an uneventful game so far. Uh, let's get straight back into the second half. 
Stavely Miners Welfare now 2-1 up against Glebe. Glebe pulled one back and then a couple of minutes later Stavely put themselves back in front. We've got me mum and dad here again, the two away fans. Uh, Sonny Best with the corner on the right hand side. Uh, Gambling heads it off the bar. It's been quite a while since he scored one of them, if we're honest. Skates is now having a poor game. I've picked him up before the game. He's coming, he's done very, very well. We're still missing Jack Egan, of course, through injury. Thomas Cole's left. Uh, but now Wright does get his fifth goal of the season. The assist by Kyle Murray, a couple of the new players there, making an impact for us. And we've gone one up in this game, which is fantastic. A semi-final of the Cup. But FA Vars as well, which is... Uh, it's got some slightly better teams in than the Northern League Cup, which, of course, disappointing. We're no longer in. Uh, but a fantastic run in the FA Vars. Uh, it's been fantastic. Glebe have now pulled level against Staveley Miners Welfare. Uh, let's not let Westfield straight back into the game, shall we? It's a good header away by Salmon, but it's O'Loughlin inside to Murphy. Now Fishwick forward to Callaghan. Callaghan hits the post. Uh, it was offside anyway. It wouldn't have counted. It wouldn't have counted. Uh, they are still pressing forward though with Hunt. Now Barney. Barney does get the ball across towards Parrish, but it's head clear by Murray. Uh, it's picked up by Sonny Best. Now, can he get us going? It's Shabs Mohammed looking over the top four right. He looked offside to me, um, but the keeper saves it anyway. And it is offside. It was offside. He did look like he'd mistimed his run just a little bit and gone a little bit early. Uh, 74 minutes on the clock. We're going to look to make some changes. Skates is not having the best of games. We're going to bring on... To homie Raymond for him, and we'll swap him round with Shabs Mohammed. Uh, we're also going to bring off Sonny Best, and we're going to put Luca Nelson on just to get some fresh legs on up front. All right, into the next highlight in the 78th minute, it's starting with a goal kick. Coins just cleared it long, but it's poor, and it's gone to Barney. Now, Fishwick and Steele. Steele gets the ball into the box towards Watson, gets his head on it, but it's gone wide off the post again. We're hanging on a little bit here. We are hanging on a little bit. Stavely Miners Welfare have now gone back in front against Glebe. Looks like it's been a fantastic game, that one. Ashington uh, won it up against Rossington, Maine. And we're still holding on. And surely it's full time. It is full time. It is full time. Keith Wright with his fifth goal of the season. We knock Westfields out and we are into the semi-final of the FA Vars trophy i believe it's trophy or is it cup i'm not entirely sure but either way whatever it's called we're in the semi-finals we are in the semi-finals uh, which is fantastic it's 4k in the bank incidentally the board did inject some cash into us they were a little bit concerned i believe it happened last month now a little bit concerned about the finances so they injected about 25k uh, obviously we've just made that 4k there as well um when is the draw for the vars for the semi-final it is tomorrow we'll quickly go forward get the draw see who we're going to come up against not that i can tell you anything about either of the teams that we're going to come up against or any of the three teams that we're going to come up against should i say we're still getting these bids coming in for players kyle welsh Weish is another one who's come to me. He's unhappy about the amount of playing time he's had. Uh, but he's not really featured for us. Anyway, let's see who we get. Hopefully we can get a home game for one of these. It's Hanley Town. A Stavey Miners Welfare. We are at home. Uh, we're going to be taking on Ashington. Who are only one division above us this time. Uh, which is which is good. We've, we've got a, a chance of getting into the final here. This is their key player. He's not a bad defender, is he? Um... Yannick Azakunu, let's just compare him with uh, Lewis Coyne. Hmm. Interesting. He does want to join as well. He would be happy to join. Let's see if we can uh, quickly... This is a bit cheeky before we play them, isn't it? Pinch their, uh, their star defender. Um, that, that would be quite funny. We are going to do that semi-final in the uh, in the next episode. Let's just see when it's going to be. 
uh, and we'll decide what we're going to do for that episode. It is going to be in around about three weeks' time. So next episode, we are, we are going to get to this Talbot Town game eventually in an episode. They are still currently third in the league. We're going to take on Ashington in the FA Fires semi-final and we're going to do the Tower or Town game uh, for the next episode. Just a quick overview of the league. Carlisle City have now played all their games in hand. It leaves them just nine points behind us with six games to go. Tower or Town have dropped off a little bit, 15 points behind us with the six games to go. So promotion, whether it's first or second, is looking very, very lightly. Uh, that is going to be the end of today's episode though. As always guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to stay up to date with future content, please don't feel fr uh, shy. Hit that subscribe button. As always, please leave a like on my videos if you enjoyed what you've seen. It helps out with the YouTube algorithms. And I'll see you all next time.